welcome to my Epoch tutorial series. For this video I will be showing you how to install Snap Building Pro by Raymix. This mod comes packaged with a plot for life. If you plan to install a plot for life or already have it installed, you do not need to watch this video. There will be an annotation in the video and a link in the description that will take you to a plot for life install video. If you only want Snap Build Pro, you can continue watching this video and do the install. So to start, you can go to the link in the description to go to this GitHub repo to download the files. It will take you to this page, and you can select the download here at the top right. Move the files over to the desktop and extract them. Open the extracted files and open up the Snap Pro Master folder. You will also need to open up your server files. Go to your mission folder. Go to whichever mission file you're using. And I'm going to put my server files on the left and the downloaded files on the right. Now copy over the custom folder from the downloaded files into your server. You can just drag like I did and it should work just fine. You shouldn't have to overwrite any files unless you are updating from a previous version. Now we can close the downloaded files and open up the init SQF. We can go back to the GitHub page right here and go down to the install notes. What we need to do is copy the second line. We then have to look for this first line here. So come over to your init and look for a call compile block. It's going to look similar to this. Now we need to look for the section that has the compiles.sqf. We can see that it's right here for Chinaris. And what we need to do is go directly underneath it and paste in the line we just copied. You can see that the original compiles.sqf is right here and the custom one is right here. This does not overwrite variables from the normal compile.sqf. All it does is add to it. If you already have a customs compiles here, you should be able to add this in without any problems unless you're using something like the coin currencies. Now what we need to do is copy this include line and go back to our server files. In here you'll need to go to this description.ext and open it and now go all the way down to the bottom, return to the last line and paste in what we just copied. It should say include custom snap pro snap points .hpp. You can save and close this file. Make sure you save your init SQF and that's everything for the install. There are a couple of options that you can use if you really want to. Down here in the options section, you have the ability to make a couple changes. This one right here changes the range of the snap points for each object. So if you're trying to snap one object to another, this range dictates how close they have to be to make that snap happen. Zero is your default. If you use a negative number, they have to be closer together. If you use a positive one, they'll have, they can be farther apart and still snap. I suggest only keeping this as it is or going slightly negative. I feel like it's at a decently good spot, but you shouldn't go any farther than negative five or positive five. Personally, I like to lower it just slightly, so I'm going to put mine at a negative 2. Well, I'll do negative 1. This next one down here allows you to turn the tutorial off. If you put it here in the init SQF, it will turn it off permanently. It won't show up ever. This is the text that shows in the bottom right corner when you're trying to build something, and it basically tells you what buttons do what. I don't suggest turning this off in this manner. If you only want it to display once per login, we can actually do that. So let's just save the init. And then down here, you can see that we need to open up another file and make an edit. 
So go over to your server files, open up the custom folder, and open up snap pro folder, then open the snap build. When in here, you need to go down to line number 226. If you're using Notepad++, you can easily find it. If not, you may have to search for this uh, biz function dynamic text. So let's say that you can't easily see the numbers. You can just run a search for this, and it should only find one, which is basically where we need to be. You need to paste this snap tutorial equals false inside here right on line 226. Make sure that this bracket stays at the end. So as you can see, I paste it here on 226, but the bracket stays at the end there. It has to stay between these two brackets or it will not work properly. As you can see right here, this is how it looks and ours is correct. Now again, this makes it so that it only shows up once per login. And that's everything for this install. That's all of your optional items and the full install itself. So just save all your files, close them, and you're good to go. Let me know if you have any questions or problems with this. I'll try to help you as best I can. And thank you guys for watching.